if you were to find out that, let's say tomorrow, we were gonna have an Obi Wan standalone or a Boba Fett standalone, Boba Fett, uh, or you're gonna have uh, <laughs> the rage is building. Oh my gosh, the the roid rage. Uh, you know, any kind of standalone, and you heard Edgar Wright was directing it. Are you okay with that? And if not, who's the better director to direct the next standalone film for the Star Wars world? Nick, you want to start? I would love, I'm saying this kind of jokingly, but at the same time, I think it'd be hilarious. I'd love to see Quentin Tarantino with the Star Wars film. (laughs) (laughs) Imagine just like the gore and all that. and I think it'd be hilarious. I'd be down for that, especially because we know that everyone bleeds now. Like, Stormtroopers bleed. We know that with Force Awakens, right? Can you imagine that scene where the hand comes across the helmet? I want a... Quentin Tarantino, it's like all red. I want a Mace Windu standalone film with Quentin Tarantino directing it. That'd be the most gory, badass thing that'll ever hit cinema, ever. I would be totally on board for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, it's... (laughs) I'm down. Uh, Jesse, do you got a better idea? Uh, Well... Because it sounds like you you, you oh. blast the idea of Edgar Wright. I, I mean, whatever. He's okay. Oh, okay. Well, okay. I mean, I just want to clear I liked Hot Fuzz. I didn't like Another World. Or, it just, I'm not it's saying he's world. a bad director. I just don't know if his style fits. Um, because you kind of have to, no matter what your style is, you have to fit within the Star Wars realm unless you're J.J. Yeah. Elbrams with his <clears throat> lens flares. Oh. Was that, was that too Snap. on the nose? I like A little bit. Flares. It was there were too many. There are too many. They call. They call so who, who's though. your better director pick then? That's honestly tough because I mean, while I, I love the movies and everything, like I don't really follow like all the various directors. So for me to actually go, I want to see this director do it. Where like honestly for me, it's George Lucas, you know, Abrams, Ryan, Peter Jackson. I think Lucas has done enough uh, for a while. Yeah. <laughs> With love. Yeah, I mean, with love, I mean, he's the creator, you know, but I'm not sure. I just, I don't know if right is the right choice for a standalone. I see what you did there. So do you, do you stash or blast it? I, I would blast it. Uh, and it's, it's no disrespect to him because, again, I love, you know, some of his other films. I just don't think his style fits. I mean, with these, this interview... You know, they I like they actually mention a Boba Fett movie and how it would be kind of entertaining. I know I want a gritty movie, and I think that's maybe what Nick was kind of getting at with. I mean, uh, Tarantino is a, is a little more kind of like funny gritty, but I think it'd be great. You just see people's heads exploding. You know, I would. I, I don't know. I have Clint Eastwood directed or something. I mean, kind of a dark, gloomy, serious movie of some kind. I kind of feel that's what I mean. That was what a lot of people loved about Rogue One. It wasn't a happy movie, if you yeah. look at it. Okay. So I can roll with that. I mean, like, just imagine Kill Bill with lightsabers. It'd be amazing. I'm not. Again, I'm not being completely the serious. Lightsabers cauterized. Still with the yellow suit. Be that much oh, I'm down for that. Ayla Sakura, Quentin Tarantino, Pl- played by uh, and Mace Windu. I would Ayla Sakura, yeah. Mace Windu, All right. is, Quentin Tarantino film, is, okay. tag team from hell. Is Uma Thurman playing uh, our hero? <laughs> she might be a little too old for this role at this point. <clears throat> no, no. How, it might about, be like, how about like Charlize Theron? Just... Oh, I'm down for that. <laughs> <laughs> no clothing, much cleavage. All right, uh, and David. She's blue. David, do you have uh, anything? Do you like Edgar Wright or do you I have love a better him. idea? I, I love everything he's done from the big things. Uh, I mean, World's End had uh, some opportunity for growth, in my opinion. But Hot Fuzz and Blazing Saddles are the two movies that I have to watch on a monthly basis. Um, so I would take either Edgar Wright or Mel Brooks to direct a Star Wars movie. <laughs> and the thing, the thing that I absolutely love about Space Wright... Space too. <laughs> the quest for more money. Um, <laughs> the thing that I love about Wright is... He, Everything he does, even his small screen stuff like Space, all of the story just comes full circle. And I think if he were given like a piece of it, like one of the trilogy movies, I think he would struggle with that. But if he has a standalone where he can start it, he can end it, and he can wrap everything up in between, I think that'd just be beautiful. I, I think that's, see that. that's a really good idea. No, I can totally mm-hmm. get on board with that. I like how you actually fought for him. But I'd also love to see Mel Brooks do one because then he'll turn it into a musical, which is even better. Oh, and then his son God. can turn it into a zombie movie, and now we're talking zombie Jedis. You know, here's my thing. There was a zombie uh, Star Wars novel, isn't uh, there? Death Troopers. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. I'm How is that? Do anyone read that? Uh, okay. It was. The it was cover okay. art looks pretty sweet. Whoa! Yeah, the hook with the stormtrooper yeah. helmet. Yeah, that was pretty good. But mm-hmm. it doesn't make sense. I don't think music goes well with Star Wars. I mean, if you need an example, uh, there's the Star Wars Christmas classic or the Christmas special. Uh, so classic. Dave, let's not talk about that. Uh, there was also that episode in Rebels, and we love <laughs> Star Wars Rebels. I'm a big fan. Big fan. But we had like singing space droids. And that was a problem. I don't want to see Mel Brooks make Star Wars a musical. Maybe like that could well, be like an unofficial thing. I can just see like a whole bunch of droids and droid decas like dancing in cadence like the Radio City Rockettes. I just I'm just excited now. Not want me to sleep tonight? Like, <laughs> I just no. <laughs> you know what? That's such a crazy idea. They might actually make it happen. You mm-hmm. probably should get it, if it happens, I am so blaming you. Disney presents Star Wars on Ice. See, I think Who's ever in charge of the Star Wars saga right now needs to take us all out for lunch and just hear all of our great ideas we? for directors for the next. I don't know if I'd say they're great, but we have ideas. These, every one of these is flawless. I don't we'll, know ta- we'll take them to Taco Bell after we're yeah. done with uh, Mark Hamill. Yeah, Mark, we can always make extra seats, but we just have to have enough space for Mark Hamill. So we'll make mm-hmm. it happen. Open um, invitation, bud. R- real quick, though, I do want to throw this out there. It will not happen. But if I can't have Edgar Wright, because, David, you've really sold me on Edgar actually mm-hmm. being a good option. I wish I could see Steven, Spiel- uh, Steven Spielberg's Ooh. take on Star Wars. And you're not going to see that, I don't think, like, because... That's actually legitimately a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you're not going to get that, though, because of his such close relationship with George. And I don't know if 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 the new uh, Indiana Jones films are hindering that friendship at, at all. But I think just because of Lucas selling to Disney, I don't think Spiel- Spielberg would do it. I think Spielberg would have done a Star Wars film... Had they agreed to use Lucas's treatments for seven, eight, and nine, and I could definitely have seen Spielberg doing episode nine. Now, I really thought that was going to happen. Doesn't Spielberg actually get money for Star Wars? Because didn't they do something where uh, they kind of traded a little bit? So he gets money from Star Wars, and um, Lucas gets money from like ET or something like that. Well, with, with ET, I mean, you had Star Wars merchandise in it. You had a, a child dressed as Yoda. You had the action figures. Um, so, I mean, yeah, it's kind of like you're using another franchise. I mean, and, uh... I was thinking they did some, like, profit-sharing you know, kind of flip-flop. kind of made a, you know, the aliens, you know, whatever, we'll just say the ETs made, you know, a cameo appearance and then the... It would have been really cool to see Steven do... I really thought he had a chance for nine. I thought he had a chance for doing a, a, an original trilogy era standalone. You know, when Rogue One kind of got mentioned at first, I was thinking Spielberg maybe they bring Rogue Steven One. Spielberg in for that because that was George's era. You know, that's that's where we got introduced to that Star Wars galaxy. Well, he doesn't direct that much. I don't follow, like, I mean, you mentioned Spielberg. It's like, yeah, I actually would say, yeah, Spielberg would be a great choice for a standalone movie. You know, uh, it's like he's got experience working on the films. Um, and he's, he produces some great stuff, so I, I would be totally open to that. What? I just think of like Saving Private Ryan, and then I think of Rogue One. Yeah. And if you just combine those two, like... Well, I think that was actually one of the inspirations for that movie. I, I, I would have to. I mean, there there's a lot of parallels. I mean, I think it... <coughs> Yeah. Oh, man. Well, it looks See, like he's kind of booked for a while because he's got the papers coming out this year, Ready Player One next year. Oh, that's based on a book. And then an untitled Indiana Jones project in 2020. Is so. he supposed to be working on like a Halo series, too? I swear he's supposed to be doing like a standalone Halo series at some point, too. I think that's probably that's canceled. Other- well, and I just put yeah. this whole Star Wars standalone film on his back, so he has to fit that in. Well, we'll see how it all goes. But th- I think what... Go ahead, David. Do you think if Edgar Wright comes into play that we'll get like Simon Pegg and Nick Frost back? Uh, Simon Pegg, I mean, he's very knowledgeable on just on the lore. Well, he's a super mm-hmm. nerd. I mean, that's why yeah. it was so exciting to see him in Force Awakens. I'd buy him Taco Bell, too. <laughs> this table's getting pretty full. Like, we're not really going to have to, like, start running out the entire Taco Bell facility. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, I'm assuming these guys have their own entourage, too, right? What if they don't like Taco Bell? Do you consider that? All right, well, we'll take them out to McDonald's.